Last year, when there was a situation in Dallas, uh, the, and I want to quote our governor, and this is what he says. He said, your refusal to fully participate in a federal law enforcement program intended to keep dangerous criminals off the streets leaves the state no choice but to take whatever action are necessary to protect our fellow citizens. This is from your governor, Greg Abbott. Senate Bill 4 is about the rule of law. Requires local entities to cooperate with federal immigration, customs, and enforcement ICE regarding criminal illegal aliens. Prevents local entities from adopting policies that prevent officers from using their own discretion to inquire about a person's immigration status when a lawful detainment has occurred. It's about maintaining the integrity of a legal system and the law enforcement that are chose to uh, enforce that to know that people are going to get the same deal no matter where they live. Of the 606 registered who testified, 592 testified against. Of the 1,152 people registered on the bill, 1,142 were opposed. Hundreds came to the State Affairs Committee last week overwhelmingly seeking its defeat. They included city officials, county commissioners, law enforcement officers, and faith leaders from our districts. You have undoubtedly and, and will hear, heard and will hear many references to our responsibility to take care of the stranger. This is the mandate of all of our traditions. However imperfectly we practice it. Because of my faith, it is not only important to extend hospitality to strangers, but to also look out for the marginalized. As a local law enforcement agency, it's imperative that we maintain a strong relationship with the community we serve. When policies exist that undermine the public trust between law enforcement and surrounding community, including the, including the immigrant community, we risk driving this segment of the population into the shadows. I'm here to ask the committee to vote against SB4 as an immigration attorney because of the fear that I've seen it strike into families living under our broken immigration system and the disruption that we've already seen that cause in our communities. I am nine years old and I have four siblings. I should be worrying about my homework or friends, but instead I worry about my mom and dad. I am here to speak for them because they can't speak for themselves. We are capable of great things. You just have to give us a chance. Separation of families is, is something that, 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 that people live with every single day. And when you can imagine that going from a broken taillight to a broken family to broken faith in our system, that's real. I respect what's been said today, and I do believe that what I heard is truth. I do have a heart for those that are afraid today, that feel like this bill may jeopardize their, 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 their being in this state. The integrity of the system is only as good as the people we elect to be involved in that process. And if we elect people that don't have the integrity with what they say they're gonna do is apply the law, then the system collapses on its own. And we spent a large number of the past few months working out to make this bill that focus on upholding the rule of law and allows our law enforcement agencies across all levels, local, state, and federal, to exercise every resource provided under current law to keep the public safe and remove bad people from our streets. This bill specifically targets criminals who happen to be here illegally. The bottom line is, if you don't do something to get arrested or hang out with somebody that does and taken to jail, this bill's not going to affect you. When the governor came on this House floor to deliver his State of the State speech, he suggested that this bill was designed to force local governments to enforce ICE detainers. And the chairman has already told us it's not about ICE detainers. Everybody in the state is complying with ICE detainers. In fact, when the Texas Tribune did its study of ICE detainers in the state of Texas, it was determined that over 99% of all ICE detainers were complied with in this state. What was really troubling during the state of the state is the governor came here and told us he wanted to scare all of us. He said that we, 
Our counties and our municipalities are letting dangerous criminals out on the streets. And he cited the Rios case. Horrible criminal. Bad guy. Hispanic guy who had committed a terrible crime. And he suggested that this bill would fix that. Well, Rios was deported three times. You don't get deported by a sheriff. You don't get deported by a constable. You don't get deported by a police chief. You get deported by ICE. This topic is... It's painful for me. Because... Because I'm an immigrant. My parents are immigrants. I represent a district filled with immigrants. Some are here as refugees. Some are here as citizens. Some are here without papers. But they are all my people. We've been working on this, this issue for many years. Uh, Chairman Guerin, uh, I can't thank him enough for the way he balanced himself on this issue, which is, which is the way this bill was written. So let me tell you, members, you can be for Sanctuary City and be against this amendment. And if we hadn't noticed, uh, how many hours have we, since, have we spent since we got stuck on this amendment? We spent almost the whole day. This is the bill. Let's not make any bones about it. This wasn't something that Mr. Schaefer crafted. This is a cut and paste amendment to send us back to what they brought over here. After House members worked on and diligently thought about the consequences about some of these policies and came up with a different version. We aren't trying to exaggerate when we say that the people in the shadows will be in the shadows more. So from my heart, I am asking members don't vote for this amendment. It's a bad amendment. Also, I'd like to, before any further, emphasize to those who are opposed to it, many can't be here today, those that support this, that elections do matter. I, I'm not naive to say there's not a partisanship part of this process, but as you say, elections matter. My majority of citizens, immigrants or non, illegal or undocumented, all want a system of law that is applied blindly and without prejudice for all involved. I love our state, but Texas has a sad, sinful, stained legacy of mistreating people who don't look like me. This bill and this vote write another ugly chapter in that history. Well, I want to thank you all for joining me this evening as I sign a law that will ban sanctuary cities in Texas. Texans expect us to keep them safe. And that is exactly what we are going to do by me signing this law. Members, if your goal, and I'm not saying this of all of you, but I'm asking if your goal was to use immigrants for political gain, you have succeeded. If your goal was to strike terror in the hearts of immigrants so that they go home, succeeded. And if your goal was to win yesterday at all costs, you succeeded. As the vanquished in yesterday's battle, I say congratulations, and I hope you're satisfied.